We know who will be the Bengals starting quarterback for Sunday's showdown against the Bills. We've got high school hoops galore. Plus, who's our shooting stores? But first, the cradle is robbed. Terry Hefner leaves Miami's cradle of coaches to return to his home state of Indiana in hopes of leading the Hoosiers back to the promised land. Hefner signs a five-year deal and vows to have IU back in the Rose Bowl, where they haven't been since 1968. But Hefner will remain with the Red Hawks for 11 days to coach Miami in the upcoming Independence Bowl. Now, Hefner has spent 19 years in Miami, the first 13 as an assistant, the last six as head coach. He's compiled a 48-23 and 23 record, including two bowl games. The Hawks put together an 8-4 and four mark this season. And while Hefner never expected to leave Miami, Indiana is the one place he had always dreamed of coaching. I thought this was an absolute golden opportunity that if, if there's any way I could be part of this great university and this football program that I would take, take this opportunity. There's one job that I would leave Miami for. There's one job that I would leave Miami for. Period. It's right here. Now I'm wondering if indeed Hefner is heading to greener pastures, taking over the Hoosiers who haven't had a winning season since going 6-5 and five back in 1994. 38-85 overall and absolutely terrible in the conference. Worse yet, crowds average just 28,500 this season in 52,000 seat Memorial Stadium. So now who's Miami looking for to take over the Red Hawks? You know, honestly, on a personal level, it's disappointing because I'm not going to be proximate to a good friend of mine. Uh, on a professional level, Miami University has an awful lot to offer, and we got an enormous amount of talent coming back from a team that's been in the championship game two consecutive years. So uh, in terms of opportunities, I'm very excited about the future.